I've had some pretty dumb ideas in my life, but this one, this one takes the cake, I think. Oh boy. So it's 2 a.m. or just shortly after. I couldn't sleep. I was laying in bed tossing and turning. The thoughts started rolling around in my head. Things I said 25 years ago coming back to haunt me. You know, you know how it is. Also, um, I think it's snowing. Something's happening. Something's falling out of the sky. I have no idea if any of these cameras are gonna work because it's just too dark to even see. But here we go. So my big plan is to drive over to Portland International Airport where I know that there's an all-night gas station. Inside that all-night gas station, my assumption is there's going to be a caffeine-free Diet Coke with my name on it. That's the whole plan. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. and I'm going to get a Diet Coke uh, on my Vespa. This would be as good a time as any to talk about night riding. And I'll tell you what it's like from my perspective here in the city. Um, there's probably no more dangerous time in the world to ride a scooter in the city than 2 a.m. on a Friday night, Saturday morning. I would imagine every drunk person in the city is either rolling out of a bar or a house party or something like that. And um, they're jumping into their uh, Tesla and they're not putting it on autopilot. Oh no, oh Jesus. Okay, that car is on the wrong side of the road. So we got that going for us. All right, ah, that was exciting, huh? Yeah, I don't want any anything to do with that. I'm going this way. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to the airport, right? I hope these roads aren't slippery. It is. I thought it was 38 when I left. God, I hope it's 38, not 32. I got a guy coming right up on my ass. It's probably a cop. Cop's like, hey, why are you, uh, why are you out at 2 a.m. on a scooter? Uh, it's because I'm going to get a Diet Coke. So it's not, you must see that all the time, right? No? I don't know. Fuck, is that recording? Oh shit. Did I not record? I didn't record. Oh, balls. Right. Now the other camera's on, that's good. I got that going for me. I am not starting this whole thing over again just because I forgot to turn my camera on. Oh no. I am going to let this drunk pass me. And then I'm going to head to the airport. So some important considerations about driving at night, and here's the first one. I do not like being stopped at red lights. I, I'm not gonna tell you in which city I am in right now because I, I, I teleported, right? I teleported to a different city, so you can't tell that I'm doing anything illegal. But I'm gonna blow this red light, and I'll tell you why. Me blowing that red, I, I'll risk the ticket um, instead of getting, instead of risk getting slammed from behind by, uh, by uh, Buddy McBudweiser, you know what I'm saying? I will always take that chance. It was perfectly safe. Wow, this is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I should make a beep. So here's the beep. There we go. I'll have to beep again or clap or something later so that I remember to sync up. Okay. I guess this will be the ultimate test of whether or not scooters are... Was that? As I was saying, this will be the ultimate test of whether uh, riding is actually relaxing enough to um, soothe my mind, empty my thoughts, and let me go to sleep. Uh, it better be because I just can't lay there and toss and turn anymore. So we'll go to the airport. And we'll talk about um, we'll talk about riding at night. This I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get a video out of this. Oh snap, I forgot to put on my fluorescent vest. Oh, I really actually meant to do that. And now I'm sitting here in a black leather jacket that's two sizes too big for me. That was really stupid. Mm. Put it on the list. List of stupid things I did today. It's growing, it's growing my friends. Here's another red light that I'm not gonna wait for. Thank God I don't have to. This is probably my least favorite thing in the world, is to be stuck at a red light in the dark, wearing dark clothes when 
everyone on the road is picking their nose. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, do y'all drive at night? Do you drive in the rain? Let me know in the comments if you're a night rider. I actually quite enjoy it. As dangerous as it is, there's something peaceful about it. It's like, if you ever ride in the rain and have the rain just kind of like hit the top of your helmet and it's like, it sounds like you're in a tent. I love that. That just makes me so, so happy. I can't see a goddamn thing. All right, here we go. Anyway, night riding is kind of like that for me. It's very relaxing. You know, the cars that are on the road will kill you, but there aren't a whole lot of them. Not a lot of cars, not a lot of people out, which is really kind of nice. It gives you time to think about your impending death. Be careful. Yeah, I've milked that one, huh? Milk that joke. The roads look slushy. It's so weird. I know they're not. Oh, I don't know that they're not. Okay, the 7-Eleven's open. That's good news. Yeah, I've stepped in another red light. Okay, here we go. That's a cop. All right. You want to come in with me? You want to come in and see the humanity that we're about to see? All right. Come on in and see this. Come on in and see this circus with me. All right. Oh, yeah. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. Where are you? Oh, boy. Where are you? Is that it? That's just Diet Coke. I need something caffeine for you or I'm gonna split an artery. Do they have, oh, I wish they had Dr. Pepper. I don't see anything caffeine free here. Zero sugar, what the fuck? How's it going? Liquid death, that's what I want. Liquid death. You ever try this stuff? This stuff is so good. Rest in peach, grim leafer, slaughterberry. Liquid death. Oh shit, does this have caffeine? Nah, couldn't. Right? I don't know. I'm afraid to look. I'll be right, here. right on. Alright, people, let's go. She said she'd be right here. She's not right here. Made in China. Chinese cows. Chinese leather. I don't know. What do you want from me? Remember nerds? These, now they have them on a rope. When I was a kid, nerds were, were a thing. That and, um, remember Pop Rocks? Oh, damn, yeah. What, what are we, building a new store here? I don't know what's going on. This is bananas. Hello? I'm not home. How's it going? Going? <laughs> All right. Really wasn't in the mood for interactions tonight, but there you go. What are you gonna do? Hey, my scooter's still here. I'm as shocked as you are. I'm just gonna assume. I'm just gonna assume that that's filming me. I don't know. Yeah, close enough. All right. It's a nice ride. That's a nice ride. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, did I close the garage? Oh, this is not my day, people. I think I left the garage open. All right. This is stupid. This is, this just got stupid. This just got stupid. I think I left my garage open. I made that theatrical entrance and then made the theatrical exit and forgot to close the fucking garage and now I don't own a motorcycle anymore because uh, that was in the garage uh, until about 10 minutes ago. All right, this is the cell phone parking lot at Portland International Airport. You all have one of those places that you go to just because it exists. This is, this is my place. If I have nowhere else to go and I really need to go for a ride or something, I always end up here. I like airplanes. I like airports. I like riding. I like parking lots. I mean, look, what more could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyone are you gonna tell me that I didn't buckle my helmet? Again? 
I really gotta learn how to do all this stuff. All right. I was gonna stop and sit here and talk to y'all about life and airplanes and everything I know about both. Um, which really would only take about 30 seconds anyway, but it's just too cold. It's way too cold for that. So I'm going home. I think, I, I think I'm, I'm fine now. I think I can go to bed. I think I got the insomnia out of me. What do you think? Right? Pretty much good. Good to go. We're happy. Didn't put the kickstand up or else you can't start the scooter. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to learn that lesson. So the other thing about night riding, if you're uh, so inclined to give it a try, is um, I can't see a goddamn thing. And that's mostly because it's really, like, moist out and everything is fogging up. I've got the pin lock, you know, I've got good ventilation in this helmet. I didn't rub anything on my glasses, which I should have, but regardless, I can't see a damn thing until I get up to, like, 25, 30 miles an hour and the wind is enough to kind of get in there and do its job. Do I have a headlight on right now? Yeah. Oh, cool. Not a given. Not a given with this bike. Mm -mm. I got a nice warm bed at home. And here I am. It's going to be, what, 2.30 in the morning now? Something like that. And I'm on a scooter at the airport. Nothing shady about that at all. So as far as night riding. So we got the, the scary drunk people. We've got red lights. We've got... Oh, you know the other thing that happens in this city a lot? And I don't know if this is if this has happened in a lot of other cities, but people do these things that they call sideshows. Now, God, I must sound so old. But I guess what happens is you get a whole bunch of people together and you find a public road. And you take the road over and you just sit there and do donuts and shit. Um, it's like a big car rally, only it sucks. And apparently that's a big thing. And I don't want to get caught in the middle of that shit. How you doing? Is my headlight on? Oh, it's on. Sure. So if you're wondering what the high beam looks like, there it is. Look at that, huh? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's it's pushing out some serious wattage there, my friends. Oh my god, it's windy. Why is it so loud? It just is a side note. That guy's all over the road, huh? I um, you know, like I said, it's cold. But I've got my riding pants on. I've got this leather jacket on with like 16 layers underneath. I'm actually not cold. Like my body's not cold, but I can no longer feel any part of my fingers. I've become spoiled because my motorcycle's got the heated grips. I, I, I think it's time to take this scooter down to uh, Vespa Portland and have them install some heated grips for you because it's life-changing on the motorcycle. It really is. It makes a huge difference. Um, the funny thing is, since the since the motorcycle's still new to me, I keep forgetting to turn them on. So I'll get halfway through a ride and be like, my hands are freaking freezing. And then I'll say, I wish I had heated grips. Oh, right. Let's just press that press that button. You, you actually do have heated grips because you're a moron. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now it's coming down like, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's definitely some sort of ice thing falling from the sky. Like snow or sleet or something that is not optimal. Now, I wouldn't normally take this light, but f that, I can't. So, I gave that light enough time and it didn't trip. Uh, and that's that could be a problem when you're on a scooter, as you probably already know. Um, but, I'm a little more impatient about it at night, so I'll give it its time, but I won't give it extra time. You know what I'm saying? I'll just, oh, you've had your time. Now it's time, it's time we all, it's time we all pack this up. I gotta, I gotta go. Hey, while I have you here, would you mind hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already? I make all kinds of crap videos like this, and I'd love to have you aboard. Okay. Enough of this happy horse shit, huh? Let's get home. One of the advantages of riding at night, I find, is actually the fact that you can see headlights. So. Sometimes during the day, if a car is coming up to an intersection on your right, right, it might be hard to see. Um, but if they, if if it's at night and and they have their headlights on, which is an, in the city isn't a given. If they've got their headlights on and they're coming up to an intersection, you can see the headlights before you can see the car, so you know that there's something there. So it's kind of like an early warning system. I don't know what's wrong with these people who have these ultra blue, sharp, bright headlights. Did you pay extra for that, or are you just being an asshole for free? Like, I, mean, I don't get it. But it's, it makes it really hard for 
you know, anyone over the age of, like, 17 can see at night. When that shit is shining in your eyes, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got delicate older eyes. And you're pointing that shit in my eyes and I can't see the road. You almost think I'm, like, freaking 212 years old. I'm really only 111. I mean, at least that's what my heart says. Well, that's what my heart doctor says. You don't, you don't, you know, you know what I'm saying. Oh boy. I really can't feel my fingertips anymore. There is no green light right now. Why am I sitting here? There's no light that's green. There's no cars. Thank you. Mother of God. All right, I'm out. This is, this, I, I just got, I gotta go. I gotta go to sleep. Um, I'll, I'll catch you all on the next one. Watch one of these videos. All right, I'm back in the hood. I gotta be quiet now. Go to bed.